Hi kids, it's Nana Party time and tonight I am reading Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes by Kim and James Dean. Pete and Gus were as busy as could be. They were getting ready for the cupcake party. It started at three. And they've got their flour and their milk and he's mixing up his ingredients. They were making cupcakes for everyone. Pete and Gus counted them just for fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They had ten when they were done. Oh no, hang on, some of the cupcakes were gone. They were sure there were ten. Pete said, maybe we need to count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> There's eight cupcakes. They counted the cupcakes lined up straight. Now there were only eight. It looked like someone had taken two, but who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then they found a clue. Gus said, look what I have found. Sprinkles on the ground. I bet it was a squirrel. She loves sprinkles. Squirrel said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been at the spelling bee. Uh-oh, cupcakes. More of them are missing. Come and see. This was too weird. Two more cupcakes had disappeared. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then they found another clue. Hmm, I wonder who those footprints belong to. Pete said, I bet it was alligator. He loves to eat. Alligator said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been learning my ABCs. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Now there are only four. Someone had taken two more. But who? And if you count them, you've got one, two, three, four. Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then they found another clue. I bet it was turtle, said Pete. I know turtle loves sweets. Turtle said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be me. I've been swimming in the sea. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. What on earth was going on? All the cupcakes were now gone. Where did they go? Hmm. Pete and Gus did not know what to do. They started looking for another clue. Hmm. There's sprinkles and there's some candy and there's some little footprints and they're going all the way up to this tree. I wonder who's over there. They found Grumpy Toad with icing on his face. Pete and Gus have solved the case. I'm so sorry it was me. I could not stop with just one. I ate and ate till there were none. Grumpy old Toad eating all the cupcakes. Everyone agreed Grumpy Toad would have to miss the fun. He could not come after what he has done. Pete said, but wait, Grumpy Toad made a mistake. This is true. Let's give him a second chance. That's what friends do. Pete told Grumpy Toad, Pete told Grumpy Toad they would give him another chance. He was so excited, he did a happy dance. Aww. The night of the party was so much fun. Grumpy Toad brought more than enough cupcakes for everyone. Pete the Cat's Cupcake Party. Let's count how many he brought. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 cupcakes. 
What a nice grumpy toad. And that's the end of the story. If you like the story, please comment on the video and like it. And also, this month we are doing another contest. So I will put your name in a drawing and you can win, win one of your free books of either Pete the Cat or, or whichever one you would like. And I will send you a gift card so that you can buy it through Amazon. And again, like my video and make a comment. Have a good evening. Night.